if you use FreeCAD before, you would have encountered the part design message. A result has multiple solids that is not currently supported. One way you can get this message if you're in the part design and you create a sketch along the XY plane or any of the planes. And we create, say, a closed geometry of a circle. And also we create something like a rectangle. These are two different profiles. So this is a profile and this is a profile, which isn't allowed. We have to have one profile per sketch. If I close this now and use the sketch in a pad, it will fail. And if I hit OK, we get the error message. Result has multiple solids that is not currently supported. If you're coming from another CAD package, you'll find that it is supported by that software. This has changed in 0.22. There's an experimental option that you can enable for multi-solid support. Let's take a look. This is FreeCAD 0.22, which is one of the weekly builds. I have a video where you can download that and try out for yourself. We're in the part design, we create a new body, and then create a new sketch. Place it again on the XY plane. I'm going to create the same sketch using the circle and also the rectangle. Let's close that now, select the sketch from the tree view and use a pad. Now notice something, we don't get any error messages. Our pad can be accepted, but where's our rectangle gone, the other profile? It's still there in the sketch. If we have a look and come into the pad, press the space bar on the sketch to show it, we can see it there. Now, if we look on the body, we can see that we've got a new option down here in the experimental section saying allow compound. If we drop this down and set it to true, first of all, nothing will happen. What we need to do, because we've enabled that option after we created our pads or our operations, we need to come into the last operation and then right click and recompute object. Therefore, we have two solids in one single body. If we add another profile to this sketch, let's say some more circles and close this, each of those profiles will be padded. We can add sketches upon the top of these and join them up. Let's say we join up here and we join up here and hit close. And we can use that sketch and pad that. And we create a bridge against two of those and all is good. This is experimental as said before. And also we must remember we're in the dev versions, so we have to be careful of that as well. This option can be enabled as default for those bodies. So when we come into the body and we come down to allow compound, before this was set to false, there's a setting in the preferences that any new bodies, this can be set as default as true. To enable that, let's go up to edit, come down to preferences, and on the left-hand side, if we look down, we've got the part and part design. We open this up, we've got our general, and in here, we've got the experimental settings. And we can check the box, allow multiple solids in part design body by default. If we check that and hit okay, then any new bodies we create, let's create a new body over here, this will become the active body and we look down and we have the allow compounds set to true. So if you're missing that multi-solid modeling that other CAD packages give, then this is starting to appear as a experimental feature in the 0.22 dev builds. And hopefully we'll be able to see it in version one free CAD. So this video serves as a quick demonstration of that tool, how to enable it and how to use it. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope to see you in the new one. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. 
and that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to these videos, and I hope to see you again in the next one.